Brown Bear and Wilbur Wolf. Brown Bear was hungry. He'd been asleep all winter. He came out of his den and stretched. The snow had melted and the grass was green. Brown Bear looked around him and sniffed the air, but he couldn't smell anything. He went into the forest to look for berries, but he couldn't smell anything. He went to the river to look for fish, but he couldn't smell anything. I've lost my smell, he said sadly to himself. How will I find any food? He lay down in a meadow by the river and tried to remember all his favorite smells. The smell of trees, the smell of new grass, the smell of apples and leaves, of berries, of rain and snow. I feel so lonely without my smell, Brown Bear said. Perhaps it wouldn't be so bad if I had a friend to talk to. But he was all alone. The birds thought Brown Bear looked sad, so they flew down to play with him. Brown Bear was pleased to see them and jumped up, but the birds got a fright and flew away. The beaver saw Brown Bear in the field and thought he looked sad. He called Brown Bear over to his dam. Brown Bear ran towards him, but the beaver got a fright and hid under the branches. The deer walked into the field and saw Brown Bear looking sad, so they skipped towards him. Brown Bear stood on his back legs to say hello, but the deer got a fright and turned back. Brown Bear lay down. He was all alone and was still hungry. Wilbur Wolf came out of the forest. He was old and tired and had been looking for food all winter. He saw Brown Bear in the field and walked slowly towards him. Maybe Brown Bear can tell me where to find some food, Wilbur said to himself. Brown Bear was too tired and hungry to get up when Wilbur came near. So Wilbur wasn't scared. They lay in the tall grass and Brown Bear explained that he'd lost his smell. Without my smell, how will I find any food? Brown Bear asked. Wilbur shrugged. I'm old and weak, he said. How will I catch any food? They lay quietly for a while and then Brown Bear said, perhaps we can look for food together. You can be my smell and I'm strong enough to catch food for us both. We can try, Wilbur said, and they did. From that day, they stayed together. Wilbur would sniff out the berries or the fish and Strong Bear would gather enough food for them to share. So they walked the valleys and mountains forest and riverbeds together and neither ever felt lonely or hungry again.